Dealers are bombarding consumers with sales and discounts, but are you actually getting more for your money or are you being manipulated into thinking that you're getting a deal? Martin Lindstrom is the chairman of Biology Inc., a marketing and neuroscience company. He's also the author of Biology, Truth and Lies About Why We Buy. Martin, good morning to you. Good morning. We're seeing so many sales right now because of the economy and, and obviously retailers wanting consumers to buy, but they also have these tricks that you're going to explain to us that get you to buy without even realizing why you're doing it. Absolutely. They are so desperate to recover revenue. They had a terrible holiday season. The January sale was terrible. So they're going to play a lot of tricks in your mind. And you think you can resist it? Guess what? You can't. You can, uh, let's start with the, the size of the basket. What does that have to do with how much you buy? Well, this is a fascinating experiment. We actually had a big shopping trolley like this one. And mm -hmm. we had another experiment where we increased the size to the double size. Right? Guess what? People are buying 30% more when the shopping trolley or the cart is double the size. Why is that though? Well, it's a little bit like when you had the colas introduced in the 80s in those large bottles. Right. What happened was actually the manufacturers thought that you would drink less. You actually drink more because you have it in front of you and you're just consuming. In this case, you have a lot of space. I have to buy more, right? Because you feel self-conscious not filling the cart. Exactly. Okay, well, let's move on from the carts to the experiment that you did with batteries. Yeah, well, this is really interesting because we asked students students to go out and buy some batteries. We gave them $10 and we made sure when they went into the shop that there would, no, would be no people around. Now guess what? When there was no people in the store, they actually bought the cheapest one, the generic batteries. When there was people placed in the retail store, guess what? They bought the most expensive brand name batteries. Now why? Is that to look like a, that they can afford it? Or? Yeah, exactly. What's yeah. happening is that you think and I think that we are not affected by people around us, but we are. We actually want to portray an image to the surrounding surroundings around us. So how does a store use that kind of information? Well, they make sure that there is a lot of people in the retail store. They make sure they place the aisles in such a way that you can see each other and people actually can keep an eye on you. And that means I have enormous pressure on me to buy even more. Okay. Now, this one surprised me because you have this container of strawberries and then two separate ones two for the price of one. I would always go for that. You that's would. not the smart deal. No, it's not. Because what they're going to do is to play on words. And they're really good at it right now. So what they're saying is, instead of just offering one tray of strawberries, instead they want to buy or offer you two trays of strawberries. Now, guess what? There's actually more strawberries in this one than in those two ones. But we're still seduced to it. I call it our biology. Because in reality, we are hardwired to buy more when we hear things like this. Right. Or in this case, with cosmetics, you just change the sign slightly and that makes all the difference. Yeah, the difference is here. Here you can buy the creams for $1.95. Here we've added a little line saying maximum eight can Three per customer. Yeah. yeah. And what's happening here is that customers become greedy. They want to have as many creams as possible. So when we did this experiment, guess what? This sold out. People didn't trust this one. That's fascinating. So just because they want to say that they're the ones who got the most. Exactly. Okay. Now this, what is this about? Well, I want to test you for a moment. All right. What smell do you think this is? Grass? That's right. Freshly caught grass. Yeah, that kind of grass. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't know the other kind. <laughs> now, this smell is actually today sprayed into a do-it-yourself store. And actually... Into a what store? A do-it-yourself store. Oh, do-it-yourself store, yeah. okay. And what's actually happening is the customers feel that the service level has increased with 49%. Why would the smell of grass make you feel that? Because you feel it's you know, hard-working people working in this store. They have contact with nature. They're really tough people. So that smell makes people feel they're close to nature. Basically, that's a trick. So that's the reason why retailers are now using smells in retail stores. Okay, so the next time you but you may not even be aware that it's there though. I was exactly. going to say next time you smell something, know that there's yeah, a trick up there. You may not be aware of it at all. All right. And how about the last one here? Well, this is a trick. Be honest now. Okay. When you go into a new stand and you buy a magazine, do you always like me take the second paper from the top? I do. I never take the first one because I figure everybody's hands have been True. on the first one. Right. Did you know 92% is always taking the second paper from the top? But here's the trick. At least 72% put it back second to the top. So we all end up with the same crappy, filthy <laughs> magazine. <right? laughs> so, oh, so we should definitely take from the top you then. You should, yes. You Here know what? Go. I've learned a lot. <laughs> Spray this grass again. All right. yeah, Martin I'll Lindstrom, that. thank you so much. You're welcome. And tomorrow we'll wrap up our series with an actual look inside the brain of a shopper.